Bitch, I might be, it's very unlikely My wrist ain't looking icy Charging by the minute, cause my time is very pricey Yeah, I be where the boss be Judging for my vibe, you can feel it in my energy Stacking paper steadily so I can live in luxury Looking in the mirror, I think God for what I'm about to be You beefing with my enemy, does not make you a fun of me Girl, so weird, stay clear, I'm living I'm not ugly, I'm just not in my moment right now Even though I loved this design, as I said before, I get bored of my nails quickly, so I'm going to be taking these off and redoing them. This is the design that I'll be recreating. I cleared my nails with acetone, and this is the brush that I'll be using for the design. And instead of white, I'll be using this purpley-gray color. I dip the brush in the color, and I start off by making a rough line for the design. And then I roughly fill in the design with the paint. And then here I do it again, a rough outline of the design. Cleaning it up a little bit. And then I fill it in. And then to clean up the lines, I dip a different brush in acetone and I go along the line that I previously made. One coat was pretty see-through. And since these designs were pretty big, I was able to just take the brush from the Essie bottle and fill it in once more. So here's how they turned out and I used the color Help me choose a nail set to recreate. This is one of the stories of why everybody in high school thought that I was a hoe. 
Can we please take a moment to just appreciate that I grew my leg hair out for two months just to make this video? Okay, thanks. So I was talking to this boy in high school. This same boy, I don't know if you guys remember, that I got caught making out in the movie theaters with. And while I was talking to this boy, I didn't know, but he had a girlfriend. And mind you, I was a freshman, so I didn't know any of like the gossip or the tea because I just got to that school. So one day in between classes, he texted me and told me to meet him in the stairwell. And obviously this is when the classes were changing, so like everybody was in the hallway. But I didn't think it was a big deal because we were kind of like talking and I didn't really think that people would care that much. So when he was walking down the stairs and I was going up the stairs, we just gave each other a quick little kiss. And there really wasn't that many people in the stairwell when it happened. And right when I was turning the corner to get to the second set of steps, I hear a bunch of girls gasping. And I was so confused why they cared so much until my next class when I got a DM. One time earlier this year I was on a Zoom call for math. I recently had my milky droop droops pierced and they were very irritating. I told the teacher I need to go bathroom but I lied and I turned my camera off and took my shirt off and took out my sag sag piercings. They were infected and when I took the piercing out nipple pus was squirting everywhere. I smelled my piercing and started vomiting on myself because it smelled like pennies and fish. I heard screaming voices and I started looking around with vomit and pus all over me to see that I didn't turn my camera off. Everyone had their phone up to the screen and were recording me and I started crying and stood up, but slipped over in my vomit and accidentally swallowed my fishy nip nip piercing. The camera was still on me and I was now naked and screaming that I'm choking and my mom ran in and started grabbing my stomach to help me not choke. My mom got vomit and fish pus all over her shirt and arms so she started violently vomiting as well and everyone was screaming and recording. My dog then ran in and started eating our vomit puddle and my mom tried to stop him but she also slipped over and swallowed a piercing. She started choking on the floor as well and my dog shit in her mouth, causing her to vomit more and vomit are the piercing. The kids on the Zoom call were going wild and I smashed my laptop breaking it. I never went back to a Zoom call and I keep getting emails saying I'm behind on my work. Show yourself, then show your fucking prices.
But is this love and war? He know that I love him, got him fucking me raw. He know I ain't with it, never did it before. He got me all in my feelings, now he got you all in yours. Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us, and let's know what videos you guys want to see.